Hello, my name is Dewey Blevins. Welcome to Mysteries and Histories. Uh, in this episode here, what I'm going to do, I was going through some files and stuff on a JFK assassination. And I put together a few, I should say a few, images that I colorized over the years and stuff into the JFK assassination. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over them and show you some of the images I colorized and maybe you know so people can understand how much time and effort that I put into this case and you're also going to see um, you know there's more images besides this these are just a few as you see right here these are just a few of them that I've done I mean I have complete images of the sniper's nest and other locations and all this other stuff but I just want to give a rundown on some of the images which we're almost start pulling up right now because I don't want this to be a long video I mean to actually see every image that I colorize in the JFK assassination will actually take about almost two hours to view individuals and I have to go fast with it but I just wanted to show some of these images here and explain the reason why I colorize these images because if you take a look right here even a sniper's nest you know, you get more details. You can see how, you know, the separation from the floor and the boxes, the wall and the pipes and the windowsill, you know, and the side of the window and the brick. You know, it's a separation is what you're looking for when you're doing an investigation. So you get more of a detail. And as you see, when you look at these images and stuff and when they're colorized, it's almost like it's still happening early instead of back in 1963. Seems like it was just recently. And that gives you that feel of, you know, what was going on at that time when I colorize images and stuff like that. But, you know, I go through these, as you see, some of them, you know, I actually put double ups in here, but there's still hundreds more I've done. And like a lot of images that people didn't see, I have copies of them as well, as you see here, you know. It's like there's a lot of time, like I said, when you colorize the image, you got all these details. You got to put individual people, you know, the colors, the even in the flag, you know, the bumper, tires, the uh, pavement, the grass, people's jury. You know, you got to have details. And like the pole right here, you know, when you look at this, you know, you got this is green right here, this is green right here. Then individual lights, you got this is white, it separates this and that. You have to go through all them details when you colorize, especially like these right here. Because like I said, majority of the images from the JFK assassination is black and white. And even like Oswald's images, I colorized them. I got a bunch of pictures of Oswald that I colorized and stuff. Images from Parkland Hospital. You know, so to pull all these details, it's like, when you look at the black and white image of this one here, we can barely see the rifle. We don't know what the separation of the rifle part to the floor is and what's this here, what's this here. But when you start colorizing, you separate them colors. Okay, you can tell what is what when you look at an image. The bullet, okay, uh, autopsy images, image of uh, Mrs. Kennedy. Like I said, I colorize a lot just like this here. You can't hardly see the blood in the black and white and you can actually still see that there's brain matter right here as well on the seat and stuff because most of the blood is where on the left hand side as I point out even right here most of the blood in the JFK assassination was on the left side and not on the right side because where the shots were occurring stuff like that most of it goes over to the right side I mean to the left side of the limo not the right side of the limo but like I said, when you start colorizing images, you start when you go in for that detail, you spot things that other people don't see or notice, like the two shots at the back of JFK's head, you know, right here one, and then there's another one right here, you know, bullet holes and stuff. Uh, like I said, you pull out a lot of details when you go over these images, like right here, you go, you know, you pull out a lot of information from all these images. When you colorize them, you know details, you know what's going on in the surroundings, you know what to look for and stuff like that. 
you know, just like I said, there's a lot of things that you see and you pick up on when you colorize it and you analyze it and everything else like that, you know. But like I said, you know, a lot of people, you know, when they look at these images, looking at black and white and they're trying to guess, well, here's this and here's that, here's that and here's this and that, but you're guessing at it. But when you go into it and you colorize it and you find all the details and you put everything back into perspective and you put the colors back in here and stuff, then you can start separating things and you can see that, okay, this is, this is not what you thought it was. It was more of a shadow from this or from that. Just like right here, you see the shadow, you can see the, where the tree is. Instead of trying to point somebody out behind you and say, hey, there's a gunman right here. But we can see, you know, there's a guy right here taking pictures, you know. We can see that separation. That's what we, that's why I tried to do, even like right here. And when I point out that when we talk about that car, see there's no vehicle parked there or anything else like that. That's what I'm talking about. You know, there's a lot of things that these films and images hold. And it tells us the truth and what happened to the story. How people changes that story. Okay. Looks like this is a good picture here. JFK Jr. and uh, his mom, Miss Kennedy. The tramps, the bullet hole inside JFK's limo. More images close up. Uh, Jack Ruby. More images here. Like I said, there's a lot of images I colorize like right here. And you got all this detail you got to put into and everything else. And we can get out of separation. Here's one I've done with Marilyn Monroe in it. Robert Kennedy, GFK, and Marilyn Monroe right here. That was actually in black and white too, but I colorized it. But I just did all these colorizations and stuff, like I said, so I could pull. This is what really tears me up every time I see this image here. That really tears me up. But I got the full image. Okay, that I colorized, I'm just not this little part here. It's like a lot of images. I have the images, I colorized them, and all the details. I got full size images and stuff like that of them. You know, even Oswald and Cask, I even got their uh, autopsy images of him and Officer Tip and all that stuff. And I colorized it so I get all that detail and everything else like that. Like you can see the blood. That's one thing, too, when you look at this, you see the blood and stuff that's on her jacket and her coat is really soaked with uh, JFK's blood. Okay, when you pull out the image and you colorize it, you see more and you get more of that detail in there. Just like right here, we see this is in black and white. Oswald right here standing and stuff like that. You know, and then we have, then we can see, like I said, when we colorize it, we pull it out. Now we know there's a bullet hole here and that's where the bullet hole struck on uh, Governor Conley's right side. Okay, so see, we get more information from these images and stuff now, just like right here. We can sell the, separate the details from the chrome and the limo, the floorboards, you know, we separate all that stuff, you know. I just want to make this video here and go over some of these images, like backyard images and stuff, go over them and show them so people can see, which I know Mrs. Uh, Newman here had a red dress on. When I colorized it, but I went ahead and redid this image, and I have one of her with the red dress on and not the blue dress and stuff, and his shirt colors changed different as well. Like I said, the autopsy images, I have a bunch of them, uh, all the images of Oswald and stuff like that, you know. Uh, when Oswald got shot, you know, when he was brought in, as you see right here. You know, I colorize, like I said, I colorize all this stuff to bring up more details. I know some people have been using this image here that I've done. But like I said, you know, there's a lot of time and a lot of effort you have to put into when you're colorizing images and you're going over them. Okay. Like I said, you know, there's a lot of detail. Excuse me. There's a lot of detail, like in some of these images here which I passed up on some of these images right here, which shows some of the sniper's nest. Okay, we got um, JFK's autopsy images I colorized. Sniper's nest, this is the only parts of them, not all of them. Uh, like this one here, it's hard to colorize, especially in the backgrounds and stuff when it's blurry. But I had to, 
which takes a lot of time. You got to detail like when you're trying to colorize the chrome in between there, make sure you separate his hands. So see when we watch the black and white image, we can see the different details and stuff like right here, uh, the antenna, the chrome here, and we see the people in the background, uh, the motorcycle uh, officer right here. You know, we get more details now. But like I said, it takes a long time when you're trying to make sure everything's perfect in an image. When you colorize it, make sure you get all that details. It's like right here, details and stuff like that. Because just like when I point out, even in my research, you ever noticed the license plate's number was even different. When I was colorizing, I'm like, wait a minute, where's the other license plate's number? And that's what made me think, was there two vehicles? You know, just not the one uh, Lincoln they were talking about. Maybe there was two Lincolns was identical. And the Lincoln that JFK was in was the one that they uh, took part and put that limousine completely away and then took this limo here and made it into uh, Lyndon B. Johnson's limo and you know that one be put away so I'm gonna make a video on that here soon about separating the two vehicles I just want to show some uh, images here because I'm just saying this to give you an ideal because you ever notice that when you look at the license plates, they're different. And if you actually look at both of these limos, they're almost identical, but there is some differences, which I want to make a video on that and point that out. And then we have the murder scene of Officer Tippett, which is right here. You can see the blood in the road and stuff still. Then we have, see how I'm saying, like when we look at the uh sniper's nest images we can separate the boxes we can see the scratches on the floor we can see some new scratches right here that's why i sit there and said you know maybe when oswald because we got a, a footprint up here where he stepped on and he stepped on here and then when he stepped down you know maybe he had this bullet case and was over here right with the other two but when he stepped down you can see there's a scratch across the floor a newer scratch not an old scratch a newer scratch some of these are older, but these are newer scratches here. Maybe when he stepped down, because you can see it right here, maybe that bullet, and you know that bullet case is here and one here. So maybe when he stepped down, he could have stepped down on that bullet casing. And it's, and he, you know, when he slides his foot across and it slid across there and it ends up hitting here, maybe bounce off of here and coming over here in this location here. So there's a lot of things we can look at now when we colorize these images, because we can pull more details and stuff and we can see what's going on. But like I said, you know, this is the reason why I colorize a lot of images. It's like right here. Now we can tell that there was a bullet mark in the windshield. This is where the bullet uh, fragment end up at right here. We can see that now, you know, which in the black and white, it's hard to tell. But now we can see it more. Okay. And just like when we go to Sniper's Nest, we look out. Now we know right here excuse me like you ever notice that all these people around that manhole cover so when we colorize this we're like okay we have all these people around a manhole cover that got shot or got two uh, distraction shots uh, hit it then we notice that hey wait a minute there's a butt plate imprint of a rifle imprint uh on this box here excuse me i need to take a drink which people didn't notice before and stuff but when you colorize it and you start going into that detail, you'll find this stuff. Like right here, we see them by the manhole cover and stuff like that. You know, like I said, when you're looking at a black and white image, it's kind of hard to tell. And there's the windshield now when they box it away. Then we have JFK's inside of his head, the back of his head again, you know, stuff like that. But I just wanted to make this video here and show people some of the colorized images I've done. These, like I said, these are just a few. That's not even a start of it. Some of them are double. When I was going through file stuff, I didn't know if I put that one over in this file or whatever. But, like I said, I got files after files of colorized images I've done in JFK assassination. And when I colorize these, you know, these images, just like when I said, you know, uh, I'm going to make a video on this where I pull up this image here. And I'm like, wait a minute, you know, I'm going to give you something to think about. Then when we make the video, then I go into more detail and stuff like that. But I want to show you something here. Okay, when we look at this. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm going to pull it up here. You're going to notice 
you see the license plates on it, right? Now remember, when a, a limo is registered to a president, the license plates never really change, okay? They never really change, but you notice here, GG300, AZ691. Okay, the license plates are different. And there is some difference between this limo and this limo, which again, I'm gonna point out later, and I'm gonna show you that actually there was two limos, but you know, a lot of people claim there was one specific one, but I'm gonna show you there was actually two of them. Okay, which other researchers don't know this information, I do, but I'm gonna make a video on this and stuff. You know, when you start looking at it, you're going to like wonder yourself, okay, now there was two limos, you know. But I want to make this short video here and show you some of the process I've done. You know, how much time I spent into this case and everything else. So, uh, like I said, don't forget that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to tell your friends about us. Share this information, other information from my other videos on your social media and stuff so other people may know the information or my videos. Uh... Don't forget to subscribe, you know, tell your friends to subscribe to us as well. Hit them like buttons because we need them like buttons. Thank you. And you have a and always in the description down below again, sorry. Always in the description down below. You're going to find a site where you can order my book, Evidence of Conspiracy, the only book you ever need in JFK assassination. Plus, I'm also going to leave a site in the description as well where you can order my book where it's got JFK assassination colorized images. But you'll see these images and a lot more that I colorize and put in a book for anybody who wants to do their own investigation or research. They can actually look at colorized images and not the black and whites as everybody's been doing over these years. You can look at the colorized versions and you get more of a feel of each one of the images and you can separate a lot of the details. So again, don't forget that like button, don't forget to subscribe and thank you and you all have a pleasant, pleasant day.